Hey, this is BC Hepner. This is our how to use our products. These are our tack cloths. Our tack cloths are designed to trap the inks in there so that you can keep tattooing. They're very easy. Just break it out of the package right here. I recommend that you just fold it over so that you can get ready to tap. Okay. What you want to do is put it in the water in your rinse cup prior to tattooing. Any ointment that you're using, uh, you can use your uh, you can use any. I mean, if you're using Vaseline, Hustle and Flow cream, uh, anything on the market, you want to go ahead and just get it a little bit wet. Okay, so now that you're tattooing, so what this is going to do is this tat cloth is going to uh, basically trap and catch this ink in here. It's designed for that. These are three fibers that I put together myself. So we'll just grab some green and I'll show you on my skin. Say if you're tattooing some green right here and you want to clean that up. Okay, you just dip it in your, your rinse cup right here. I recommend that when you're, this is a lot of ink, but I recommend that you squeeze it a little bit right here. But all you want to do is you want to concentrate that ink throughout the cloth. So you're just going to go like this. You're just going to go a little bit of a squeeze. You want to get that completely saturated with the ink. Okay, now you can just keep shooting. And look at that, see? You, you don't have... The residue, it traps it. That's the whole process of this cloth. It traps it in there and allows you to smooth it out, but it, it just doesn't mess with it as far as the colors when you go back and forth. That's it. You can fold it over and over again. Keep shooting green, shooting green. If you want to shoot blue, you, you get your blue out or your black. It goes right over that other color. It doesn't matter. That's the whole purpose of this cloth. And it had to be designed, folks. We had to have it out there. So just dip it in your water cup like that. Rinse it out. Time is money. Give it a good squeeze right there. And then you tattoo your next color. Dark, you know, just like any tattoo. You know, you're going to go ahead and knock it out. And have the resin left over just a little bit right here. Start knocking out that next color. Wiping in that color. That's it. But just remember to always rinse that out, okay? And just give it a nice squeeze so you can go ahead and get all that color. You want to just get a, enough of that color off that cloth right there so that you can keep shooting that next color. Blend it in. You can use any cream that you want, okay? You can put some of the cream on your skin right here while you're, you're shooting ink. No problem. It goes right into the cloth. Okay, now when you're done, you're, you're mixing your color into the skin, you're done with it, it goes right off. It takes that off, no matter what you're using. Okay, and you just keep on shooting your colors. We sell these, no matter if this is the black and white or the color cloth, it doesn't matter. It's the same way you use it, except on the black and white cloths, okay, you want to go ahead and you're making your shade now. We designed a different fiber for that. So you want to have your black colors right there. You're going to go ahead and use this to control how much black and gray you want to do, what kind of shade you want on there. So you're going to go ahead and keep this cloth right here a little bit damp, or you're not. You're going to have a lot of water or less. So you can make your shade work on your tat. So that right here will last for 10 hours. Okay. Then you can just use our, our spray or our bottle right here of rejuvenation. Just mix it in there few drops in there, dip it back in your water just really quickly, and rinse that off. You have to rinse off the rejuvenation for it, okay? The sand re uh, that re rejuvenates the tack cloth, and then you're good. You don't want no resin and, you know, ink's getting all clogged up in there. You want this to control it. It just, this microfiber takes that and just traps that in there, okay? So just keep it on there, dip it in, fold it out. Squeeze it on your thing right here. You can get a larger cup. We just use the solo cup sometimes when we're shooting ink. But there you go. That's it. That's how you use it. When you're done, dispose of your cup. Dispose of your water proper way. Uh, you're at the apartment specs, and you're good. All right. Next video up. Thank you.